Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And we're continuing with our health unit for the month of April. Last time we began to talk about、uh, this.、Uh, Phenomenon of short-sightedness、yeah. of being short-sighted or near-sighted, which means you can see things clearly that that are close to you,、mm -hmm. but you have difficulty seeing things that are far away from you. And we talked about this problem being especially acute here in Asia. Yeah, and the percentages for、uh, short-sightedness are quite high in Asia.、Um, our author in day one used the term acute. If something's acute, it's kind of intense or severe, and we're seeing an, a rise in this. So we're trying to figure out why. So we're going to spend today continuing to talk about why the kids, in particular, are having、uh, more problems younger and younger with being nearsighted or shortsighted.、Uh, but before we do that, guys, we're going to read through the entire lesson. After COVID nineteen emerged, people spent less time outside. Sometimes this was because of lockdowns, while in other cases people needed to quarantine themselves. Moreover, students took online classes and workers worked from home. This took away their commute, which most people spend at least a part of outside. Data from China shows that even a relatively short lockdown increased myopia rates from 5.7%. To 21.5 percent in six-year-old children, it's likely this pattern was repeated globally. Many parents are concerned that screen time contributes to vision problems. However, experts say that it's hard to prove the correlation because there are numerous variables, including the type of screen, the content on the screen, and more. While the evidence is not conclusive. Parents are still probably right to be cautious about too much screen time, especially as it does cause eye strain. It's recommended that if kids enjoy screen time, let them do so outdoors. Unfortunately, once someone is short-sighted, the only thing they can do is wear glasses or other corrective lenses. But what about the children of the future? If you've been paying attention. You will realize that the solution for preventing early onset myopia is more time spent outside. The likely reason for this is that when we're outside, our eyes spend more time focusing on things that are farther away. This makes sure that our eyes are properly adapted for all kinds of visual ranges and makes them stronger overall. Natural light is also the best kind of light for our eyes. While it's too late for the current generation to avoid short-sightedness, knowing that going outside is beneficial will ensure future generations won't face the same problem. Okay, guys, let's get started. As Tom was reading that, I was thinking of、um, myself as a little girl sitting in front of the TV watching cartoons, and my mom saying. Sit back away from the TV. You're too close. Sit back. And I just I'd never thought of that until just now when you were talking or when you were reading. I thought, yeah, mom was telling me as a little kid, don't sit so close to the TV screen. Of course, kids do. Have you noticed they like to get right up there, very close、uh, to the TV and watch it that way. Or nowadays, their kids just their parents just hand them a tablet, computer, and have them watch their cartoons on that.、Um, I think it is good to limit the amount of time that little ones、um, are looking at those screens because we now know it's not good for you. Yeah, we've got those smaller screens now, so of course people are looking at those screens much closer than they did to the old TV sets of the past. I don't know how many people actually still watch TV on the big screens anymore.、Uh, maybe they watch movies or something or the news, but I don't they think might, we... they might have flat screens in their homes. Uh, they probably do, but I still、uh, think that they probably spend more time、uh, staring at their phones than they do staring at the TV. But in any case,、uh, we're going to talk about some reasons for this、uh, sudden rise, for this surge in cases in of myopia、yeah. in Asia and other parts of the world. So last time we left off, we mentioned the prob probability of COVID nineteen having something to do with this. So remember,、uh, as it says here, after COVID nineteen. 
nineteen emerged, people spent less time outside.、Uh, that's true. People were stuck inside in a lot of cases, and sometimes this was because of lockdowns. While in other cases, people needed to quarantine themselves. So when this、uh, pandemic started,、uh, gee, I don't even remember the name of the city in China that it supposedly started in. Wuhan. Wuhan, right?、Uh, Wuhan kind of shut down, and everybody had to stay inside. So that's an example of a lockdown, which means you basically are not allowed to go outside. If you do, the police may find you and、uh, punish you and send you back home. So yes, indeed, lockdowns was one cause of this. But in other cases, people needed. To quarantine themselves.、Mm-hmm. Uh, here I've got quarantine. It can be both a noun and a verb.、Uh, quarantine as a noun is just the state of being in isolation, of being separated from other people. Whether you're in a quarantine hotel, which you don't really hear about so much anymore, and you could be quarantined at home.、Uh, there I used it as a verb there. So you can quarantine yourself, of course, if you've got some problems. Now it says here. Moreover, we've got those problems, but students took online classes, and workers worked from home. Think about what that meant too.、Uh, if you were online taking courses, you were suddenly、um, put, you know, in a room, and you were just looking at the computer screen all day, rather than sitting in a row in a classroom and looking. Towards the the blackboard or the whiteboard, where your teacher was teaching you there, so that wasn't good. And then、uh, a lot of people were working from home. You could no longer get up and maybe go attend a meeting. You know, your meetings were right there with you sitting in that chair. So there were a lot of people that were spending a lot of time、uh, looking very closely at a screen. This took away their commute. A commute is when a person goes from home to work, and how long it takes you.、Uh, for example, I could say my commute from home to work takes about fifteen minutes, if I'm lucky.、Um, if there, if it's rush hour, it takes me more like twenty-five minutes. But that's a commute, the travel time or the distance between your home and your place of work. So it took away their commute. They no longer were going. Um, outside, getting in a car, getting on a scooter or a bike, and、uh, making their way to work, which most people spend at least a part of the commute outside. Just you know, getting in, getting in a car would put you outside. And now everybody was just stuck at home, twenty four seven. And usually, if you were at work or taking classes, you were looking at a screen. Right, and of course, if you're commuting here in Taiwan, you're likely going to be riding your scooter, and you're on the、uh, street, and you're looking ahead at、uh, traffic conditions.、Yeah. So you're exercising your eyes in terms of things that are close to you,、mm-hmm. like the person that just cut you off, or you're looking ahead to find out when you need to turn right. Like or... the person who just cut you off. It happens all <laughs> the time, but again, you might also be looking for well, where's that elusive parking spot. Oh, I. Got to get it before that guy does. So you'll be looking ahead, looking for empty parking spaces for your scooter or for your car. But、uh, of course, if you're stuck at home, you don't have that opportunity to be in traffic. You're not going to be commuting to and from school or to work, and that could cause this problem. Now we're going to talk about information from China. Data from China shows that even a relatively short lockdown increased myopia rates. From 5.7 percent to 21.5 percent in six-year-old children. So this is data or information from China. I should say that data is actually the plural form of this.、Mm-hmm. You could say data from China show. That even a relatively short lockdown, blah blah blah. But、uh, nowadays, I think they accept this as both singular and plural. Right.、Uh, if you want to be really.、Um... Official though, and if you're writing a research paper and you're getting graded, I would go ahead and treat data as a plural noun, especially if you're in America. <laughs>、um, moving on to the next paragraph, it says many parents are concerned that screen time contributes to vision problems. They should be concerned because it does. Yeah, be careful with that.、Um, it's not good for kids to be on, you know.、Uh, 
tablets or looking at a phone for any amount of time. I think sometimes parents do use these devices as a babysitting device. You know, they're probably busy trying to.、Um, maybe they're working from home. They're trying to、uh, do some work. You know that there are companies asking them to work, and they're they have a little one at home, and they just hand them a tablet or a phone to keep them busy or occupied for a while. But it doesn't help the kid's vision. When you say something contributes to something else, it just means it adds to something. So you can contribute in a lot of different ways. Now, if、uh, if you're contributing to a situation, it just means that's one of the causes of that particular situation. But we also use it in a positive way. You can contribute money to an organization or to an event that you believe in. But here we're actually saying that something we're talking about, and here it's screen time. It's actually one of the causes、uh, of vision problems that we're seeing today. Yep, it's causing vision problems. It's、uh, bringing them about. They're more common. And、uh, here it goes on to say, however, experts say that it's hard to prove the correlation or the relationship because there are numerous variables, including the type of screen, the content on the screen, and more.、Uh, maybe,、uh, for example, the brand of the phone they're looking at, the tablet, the resolution of the screen,、uh, where the person tends to look at the device, whether it's In a dark room or a well-lighted place,、uh, yeah, there are all sorts of different factors. So yes, the experts say it's hard to prove this correlation. Correlation just means the relationship between something. We usually use this if we talk about、uh, things in society that we're trying to research to find out causes. Well, there's a correlation between the unemployment rate and the high crime rate. There's a relationship there. There's a correlation. Uh, you'll often see it when people、um, in scientific fields, especially, are trying to prove a theory to be true or false.、Uh, maybe someone says there's a correlation between、uh, a recession and the levels of crime that that you experience in your city. They're trying to show that there's a link between the two. So yeah, the,、uh, uh, the it's very hard to prove the correlation sometimes because there are a lot of factors or variables that are、um, actually having an impact. It's hard to narrow it down to just one thing. A variable is just one method or one element of something, one factor of something that can change. So, and like Tom said, it could be the type of screen or content on the screen, and more. There are a lot of different factors or variables. Okay, that brings us to the midway point in our lesson for today. Let's take a break and listen to our Chinese teacher. 听众朋友，大家好，我是安娜。我们昨天带大家开始来探讨一个很严重的问题，就是 myopia 近视。而且亚洲啊，中国、台湾、韩国啊、新加坡，怎么近视的小朋友越来越多了？昨天提到有几个原因，比如说像是户外时间很少啦，或者是真的近距离阅读啊，或者是盯着屏幕时间很长等等。那后来又提到一个很重要的关键，就是新冠疫情。所以今天我们顺着这个新冠疫情，看一下这个近视跟新冠疫情之间的关系。因为其实新冠疫情出现之后，大家在户外的时间就减少嘛。有时候是整个封城，那有时候要自主隔离，那有时候线上上课根本不用出门。所以我们的第一段很重要。第一段在第二句的时候呢，我们看到第二句逗点前面的。Lock down 这个字就是所谓的封城。那整个城都封起来，你连门都不能出诶，这第一个原因。第二个原因，我们刚刚说，我们可能要自主隔离啦，可能我确诊啦，或者是呃，这个谁确诊啦，家里有人确诊，就是要自主隔离。那那这个自主隔离的隔离呢，也出现在这一句 quarantine quarantine。那它是动名词同一个字。当然，在这句话逗点后面的 while 又是一个连接词。它表示一个对比对照，而有时候是封城。然而，另外一种情况呢，就是我们要自主隔离。然后，我们刚刚还有提到 ，moreover， 就是线上上课嘛。啊，线上上课就起床在房间把电脑打开。所以，当我们 took online classes 的时候，或者是根本就不用到公司，大家直接在家工作 ，work from home， 就不用通勤啦，不出门不用通勤。所以，第一段第四句，我们出现了所谓通勤这个字。
commute， 至少大部分的时间，大多数的人。我们都会有一部分，因为通勤就是在户外度过，所以通勤也很重要啊。能够出门，可以看到远的东西，就可以放松肌肉。好，那我们刚刚提到封城这件事情嘛，来自中国的数据就显示，即便是相对时间比较短的封城。也会使小孩子，比如说六岁的小孩，他的近视率增加到百分之二十一点五，所以这种模式可能会在全球各地一直不断反复的出现。第一段最后一句，第六句的地方，我们就看到 it's likely， 这里的 it 是虚主词，而 likely 是一个形容词，表示可能的意思，所以这就很可能啦。什么事呢？真主词从 this pattern 一直到句尾的地方。这整个模式就会一直不断的重复，只要封城，就有一些小孩子可能视力又恶化了。好，接下来就到了第二句，当然很多的父母亲就想说，哦、不能一直用三 C 产品啊，不要一直看平板啦，我们会很担心盯着屏幕的时间就导致视力的问题。不过专家就表示，其实这中间的变数很多，所以不一定真的有什么相关性。好，我们来选两个专业的字哦。如果我们要控制什么样的变数或变音？在做研究的时候或做实验的时候，这个变数出现在第二段第二句的地方，逗点前面的 variable variable。然后还有呢，我们在做研究之后，可能会发现什么跟什么之间有关联性，这个关联性也出现在同样的第二句 correlation correlation。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Let's continue with our lesson now. We're talking about possible causes for the surge in cases of myopia, and、uh, we did、uh, talk about some parents being concerned that、uh, screen time contributes to vision problems for their children. But experts say, well, it's hard to prove this correlation because there are all these different variables, these different factors, which include various factors like the type of screen, the size of the screen, the Resolution, etc., etc., and while the evidence is not conclusive, parents are still probably right to be cautious about too much screen time, especially as it does cause eye strain. So the evidence is not conclusive. We can't prove for sure that spending so much time staring at screens is causing this rise in myopia. It probably is, but we can't quite prove it yet. We don't have a correlation because of all those variables. So the evidence is not conclusive.、Uh, it's just not convincing. But still, parents must be concerned. They still need to be cautious because if you have too much screen time, it definitely will cause. Eye strain. Indeed, your eyes will feel very tired and sore if you spend six or seven hours staring at your smartphone all day. True. If you're cautious, you're just really paying attention to potential problems, or dangers, or risks of something. You're very cautious. If you're a cautious driver,、uh, you probably aren't aggressive out there on the road. Um, but I've often seen cautious drivers cause accidents,、mm. so just、uh, be aware of what's going on.、Um, but I think it's true that parents should be cautious about how much screen time their little ones、um, are are spending on some of these devices, especially tablets and phones.、Uh, too much is bad, as Tom said. It does cause eye strain, which makes your eyes tired and weary. And I know just from the amount of reading I did while I was in grad school that eye strain is real. I started having blurry vision, and just you know took more time away from the books, and it got better. Right,、uh, you might want to consider audio books. I don't、yeah. know if they have those for textbooks. That's a good idea. But、uh, it might help.、Uh, so you might not、uh, be staring at the、uh, screen or the、uh, piece of paper, the、right. book in front of you so much. And we go on here to say it's recommended that if kids enjoy screen time, let them do so outdoors. 
Uh, that might be easier said than done, especially for folks here in Taiwan. I don't want to go outside, mommy. It's hot outside, or it's raining outside. Why do I have to go outside to look at my smartphone? I'll just do it inside here. So again,、uh, that might not be so easy. But still, if they go outside, they may from time to time look up and、uh, hey, what's that bird that just flew past? Oh, look at the flowers and the trees. Oh, what a beautiful scene. They might actually be encouraged to look at things that are far away. I think that's a nice idea. Unfortunately, once someone is short-sighted or near-sighted, the only thing they can do is wear glasses or other corrective lenses. We talked about how some people are wearing contact lenses these days rather than glasses. It can be a lot more convenient that way, and some people think they look better without glasses. I think glasses can be cute too, though. But what about the children of the future? Uh, say we're talking about you know kids that haven't been born yet or are tiny. How do we protect them from having you know short sightedness or near sightedness? If you've been paying attention, you will realize that the solution for preventing early onset myopia is more time spent outside. Yay!、Mm. Uh, being outside is very healthy too. And if you get that sun, you're getting your D3, which will keep you healthy. It's really good. Early onset means something、um, has come. It's usually some sort of disease or medical condition you're talking about. Early onset means something has an earlier start than you're normally used to seeing.、Um, early onset Alzheimer's, for example, is older people who start to forget things and they forget who they are. They're in family. Families and it just gets worse. But early onset Alzheimer's would be instead of getting it at say eighty, eighty-five, they might get it at fifty, which is really early compared to the average age. So early onset is something, usually a disease or medical condition that starts before the average. Right, so you need to spend more time outside to prevent early onset myopia. The likely reason for this is that when we're outside, our eyes spend more time focusing on things that are farther away. So that's the key here, getting outside. And I should say the good people of Taipei、uh, are pretty good about this because、yeah. we've got the U bikes, and people often go out and、uh, hire those U bikes and go riding on the bike paths and things like that. So、nice. that will get you outside, and you'll spend more time focusing on things that are farther away from you, and you'll stay away from、uh, your phones more often. And this makes sure that our eyes are properly adapted for all kinds of visual ranges,、mm -hmm. and makes them stronger overall. So yes, indeed, the important thing there is to have that visual range to practice looking at things that are close, but also to practice looking at things that are far away.、Uh, look. At the、uh, Yamingshan Mountain Range outside of Taipei, there. Take a look at that from time to time, or Guanyinshan. See, see that mountain there、uh, to the、uh, northwest of Taipei there. And I'm sure you've got、uh, corresponding mountains and great scenery、uh, in other parts of Taiwan as well. So what we're seeing is, if you're outside, it makes sure that your eyes are properly adapted for all kinds of visual ranges. And what it does is, it makes your eyes stronger overall. Overall is just a word we use、uh, to talk about including everything, the total impact, the total effect.、Uh, maybe you could say, "Oh, I love this country. My overall impression is that it's wonderful, and I think I would enjoy living here."、Um, maybe there are a couple of things you don't like, but overall, generally speaking,、um, this is how I feel. So. So here, overall is an adverb. It's、uh, helping to describe stronger. So overall, it makes your vision stronger overall or generally,、um, which is a great thing. Natural light is also the best light or the best kind of light for our eyes. We know that. While it's too late for the current generation to avoid nearsightedness or shortsightedness, knowing that going outside is beneficial. Really can help us. It can ensure future generations won't face the same problem. When you're talking about a generation, you're talking about、um, all the people who were born and lived at relatively the same time. 
you're usually in the same generation with someone who is, I would say, five to ten years、um, older or younger than you are. Right, so the current generation、uh, still has to suffer with this. Sorry, guys, you're still going to have to wear glasses for the rest of your lives. But、uh, we need to focus on younger people, and、uh, we will know that going outside is beneficial, and that will ensure future generations won't face the same problem. Now, here we've got the word beneficial, and that just means it helps you in some way. Maybe taking vitamins will be beneficial to your health, or having a healthy diet. Will be beneficial to your health, or working a certain job will be beneficial for your future career. You'll get some experience that way. Yeah, so hopefully we、um, can help protect our kids who are are not yet here, not yet born. We can help the little ones in their eyes so that they'll live a happier life. Right now, it's time to listen to our Chinese teacher one more time. 但是，虽然没有关键性的证据会证明说，我们常常小孩子盯着荧幕看，然后视力一定会恶化。但是，父母亲对于盯着荧幕太久这件事情的这种谨慎态度，其实应该还是正确的，因为眼睛真的就会疲劳。所以在第二段第三句，首先看一下这个。句首的 while while 在这里的连接词就不是表示对比对照喽，它是 although 的意思。虽然没有关键的证据，但你说老师你怎么会知道这个 while 到底是什么意思呢？其实就是要根据上下文的文意去做判断。那当然，在这句话还有一个重点，就是比较接近句尾的地方有一个 as as 当连接词就有三种意思：一 when， 二 because。三如同好像，在这里当然就是表示原因，因为盯着荧幕太久，还是会导致 eye strain， 就是所谓的眼睛很疲劳啊。所以建议，如果小孩子真的很喜欢盯着荧幕看的话，就让他们在户外这么做吧。为什么要在户外这么做呢？接下来的第三段就告诉我们真正的重点。不过在那之前，要先看一下第三段的第一句，因为这里有一个很重要的一个句型哦。我们说，一个人如果真的近视，那他不就戴眼镜？要不然就是戴矫正镜片，有可能是隐形眼镜啦，或者什么夜间矫正镜片之类的。我们看到的是，某人唯一能做的就只有某件事、某个动作。我们来看第三段第一句逗点之后 ，The only thing they can do is。请特别把 where 圈出来，这里一定要用动词原形。某人唯一能做的 ，the only thing someone can do is do something。请直接加动词原形。好，所以我们刚说，如果好真的要用平板很久或怎么样，那就多待在户外。为什么要多待在户外呢？因为第三段第四句。开始告诉我们，我们长时间在户外的时候，眼睛就可以比较有一些时间聚焦在更远的事情上。那么眼睛的肌肉就可以放松，就可以很合适的顺应各种的视觉的范围。那整体来说，眼睛就比较健康。另外还有一个，在第三段第六句的地方讲到一个很关键的，所谓的 natural light， 自然光线其实对眼睛是最好的。虽然现在的这一代啊。如果真的要避免近视，是有一点晚了。但是我们要知道，走出户外这件事情是很重要的，对我们的眼睛、对健康都是相当有益处的。所以在第三段最后一句，我觉得很重要。While 这里的 while 连接词还是 although 的意思。虽然 it's too late for the current generation to avoid short-sightedness， 但是我们要知道，走出户外 it's really beneficial to us。对我们来说，才是真正有益的。以上是我们今天的内容。我是安娜，我们下次见。That brings us to the end of our program. Thanks for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. And we certainly hope that you have excellent eyesight. Get outside and enjoy the great outdoors. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.